Hello, my friend. In the last lecture, we learned how to move this guy, but all these goblins here, they've got torches and they want to probably, you know, hit me. They want to look at me. They want to move towards me. But somehow I'm only the one who is sticking the sword in the ass. They are not even reacting, right? <laughs> and how do we change it? Let's start from, for example, flipping this guy. Like, I want this guy to look at me when I am moving. So when I'm here, I want this guy to look here. When I'm here, I want this guy to look here and this guy to look here. Wow, so many things to do, but how? Well, firstly, normally you will need to find out how to flip things. And how would you do it with AI? Well, you would go to the enemy, for example, and you will need to look for the properties that allow you to do such things. If not, you will need to program it, okay? But fortunately, in animated Sprite 2D that we've attached to the enemy node, we get something here like this. And when we move to 2D scene and do this, as you can see, we are flipping this guy. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but is that a solution to our problem? No, because if we flip this guy here, right, we are flipping all guys. And uh, when we move, they are just standing still. So we've just solved one mini problem. How do we make them always look at me and then, for example, move? towards me, then we need to start, well, programming. But fortunately for us, we do not need to know how to program at least at the start, okay? I will tell you why soon. So when we go to the enemy and go to the script here, we want to, you know, flip things, but how to do it towards the player? We need to somehow re refer to him. So many things to do. And normally the noob AI user would go to, for example, one of the AI available like open AI and ask, tell me how to make an enemy look in the direction of player when the player is moving in go.ng. And this is a bit precise and a bit not. Why? Because firstly, he's gonna tell us how to cre create a player that we've already created, right? How to, <laughs> you know, do many things that we don't need to. Uh, and to be honest, there is another problem that he's extending something which is kinematic body 2D. Notice that we've got here character body 2D. And this is the name of the node that we are using on our enemy, right? It means that we are basing everything on the node that is called like this. It was created by the Godot engine creators, right? And not this thing, which doesn't exist. It, well, it used to exist, but in the older version. And to be honest, most time people who uses AI would do something like that. Okay, let's copy this. It's not working. Okay, so I need to copy this here. Oh, it's again not working. Okay, I'm gonna fix this and then this and then this. And this is a noob way of using AI, okay? Because you need to firstly do something like this. You need to set who your AI is. So you're an expert in Godot engine and proficient in writing code in GDScript. Because notice that we didn't even specify the language here, right? But well, default is GDScript, so he somehow managed to you know use it. But he used the old version, right? So first, check what the latest version of Godot is. And once you have this information, confirm that you are ready, right? And then from this point on, always remember that you are using the latest version you found. When responding, always base your knowledge on the latest version. Do not answer until you verify that there could be no mistake. So we've made sure that he is Godot engine expert proficient in GD, GD, GD script and he's gonna use the newest version. Is it enough? No, that's definitely not enough. Why? Because now maybe he's going to extend the character body to D, right? properly, but still he's going to create a player from the scratch, even though he doesn't know if we want to change something here, right? And he is going to replace some things that we maybe need in an enemy. That's not what we want, right? We want to upload a context. It means that we want to make sure that the AI acquire get the knowledge that we have. Context is the thing that we know and we need to share it with the AI. And now I did something like that. A bow file has JSON. And how to create this file? Scene, export, this thing here. And now I'm gonna save it, okay? Oh, sorry. Okay, I made this mistake and it's good that I made it because I exported the enemy scene. I want to export exactly game root, right? The main place of our game. So he understand what's going on in our program. So save now, okay? I'm overwriting it because I did it before and I'm uploading it here using this thing here, right? And oh, sorry for the Polish language here, but you are just uploading this here and 
this is the file that uses JSON inside. JSON is just a way of describing things, okay? But I set it to him so he knows how to interpret this file. It's not like he's used to open files that are GLTF. So it's a good idea to say something. Above file has JSON that describes how my game main root looks like. So how my game looks, okay? And auto reflect, so I can ask you a question. What does it mean auto reflection? Well, when you're talking with your friend, doesn't it happen that you get ideas regarding the things that you are talking about during the talk? Sometimes you're like, hey, I'm doing the, gonna do this, this, this way, this way, and then this. But while you are talking to your friend, when you are explaining things, you're like, hmm, maybe I should do it differently. It's because you reflected on what you've just said. And when you say to AI, auto reflect, so I can ask you questions, it means, ah, I need to think. Okay, so as you can see, AI knows now the game structure. Mm. So it has got now a context of our game. But that's not enough. We don't want it to create the script from the scratch, right? So I've just uploaded what? Player and the enemy GD. So the scripts, I did something like that. Uh, send and I've just chosen these two things from the game folder, okay? So AI auto reflected on our script and now I ask it how to turn an MFA towards the player when player is moving. And because it knows about our script, it will not do anything to the player now, right? Why would it do anything to it if we want to just turn the enemy? So we do not lose our time to you know, read all the stuff that was here. We just need to copy this part, run the code, and as you can see, hey, they are turning. Yes, that's what we wanted. And to be honest, we didn't write even one line of code. Hey, maybe let's improve it. I want also enemy to move towards the player slowly. It's not like you should write everything using AI, right? And to be honest, it's not like it's possible to create very big game using only AI. But, uh, well, to be honest, you could, but it could get a bit messy if you do not know the process of programming, okay? Notice that everything is described here. So assuming the player's node is a sibling of the enemy's node. Let's say that I don't understand this part. So I'm going on, I go here. And to stuff like, can you explain it to me like if I had never written any program? Write to me like if I was seven years old. Let's go. Wow. That explanation. Look at this. Just wow. And you know why it's good? Because I didn't say, can you explain it to me? But I also added a context. I am a noob. I want to be talked to like seven year olds. And to be honest, I always like to be talked to like seven year olds because I don't like people who brag about their knowledge. No, you should be sharing it. And if you want to share the knowledge, you should talk always like this. Okay. So in this lecture, we learned how to program with AI. And as I said earlier, it's not the end, right? We, it's like, I want you to know that you can solve many problems like this. Some of them, they, they can be solved better. But to be honest, for the sake of creating your first game, to have fun, to see for yourself if game development is for you, why, why, why would I need to know everything like, you know, how this works exactly, step by step? If you need it, you can, you know, say it to him. Hey, please explain me. I am seven year old. I want to, it to be, you know, easy, right? But there are so many things to learn in this Godot engine that are more important at the start, right? That we can now at least focus on the part that I think is more important. The, how you feel about this engine and where to click what how to project your design that you have in your head onto this Godot engine, right? Programming is very important for advanced project, for small, as you can see, if you know the process, if you know how to ask questions, you can really do it with AI, right? That's only the test and thank you very much. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, or maybe ask AI, who knows?